This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Squarespace. Go to squarespace.com slash TYT and get a two-week trial for free. This gentleman by the name of Chris Lee, he's a Republican from New York. And, it's, of course, he's you know solid guy who said, yeah, values Republican. He's got such great values, by the way, just so you have the background on this. He's the one that uh, voted against and, and blocked originally the 9-11 responders bill. Even though he's from the state of New York, it's, uh, it costs too much to give health insurance and, and to cover the people who responded to 9-11. So I don't know about that. Well, it turns out Chris Lee's in a bit of trouble now, huh? I wonder why. Well, it turns out Cocker was reporting that uh, uh, Chris Lee had gone on Craigslist and gone under the heading of uh, women seeking men and uh, tried to find women who were seeking men. Uh, here's one of the problems. Uh, Chris Lee's married. He's got a kid at home. On Craigslist, that's not he how he painted it. He said that uh, he was a 39-year-old, 6 foot, 190 pounds, blonde, blue-eyed, divorced, uh-oh, lobbyist, not congressman from New York. So he starts chatting up a 34-year-old, and she asks him, hey, look, I don't want no toad. By the way, women are funny, man. I love the way how they're demanding they are. All right, you need to be this, this, and this, and you can't be a toad. So he, he's a, he responds, he says, quote, hope I'm not a toad, smiley face. Uh, I'm a very fit, fun, classy guy. Is that right? Then he tells you six foot, nine hundred ninety pounds, thirty nine lobbies, and then he says at the end, "I promise not to disappoint." Now let's take a look at uh, Christopher Lee here. Now this is a picture of him um, in the United States Congress, and look at that—he looks like a very fit, fun, classy guy. Now let's take a look at the picture that he sent this woman on Craigslist when she asked for a picture. Well, I know the Republicans are in favor of gun rights, and that's probably why Chris Lee went to the gun show. <laughs> Taking a picture with the biceps, et cetera, et cetera. So he says the picture of the woman, and she writes back. She's like, what are you doing? I, I, I didn't ask for a half-naked picture. Why'd you send that? He's like, oh, yeah, I was just, you know, I'm just trying to show it to you. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So then she looks him up a little bit online, of course. I, how do people think they're going to get away with it? She, she she's not bothered that he's a Republican politician. Originally, she doesn't like it because he lied about his profession and he lied about his age. So, yeah, oh, yeah, I mean, you're married, you're a congressman, whatever. But you said you were 39 and it turns out you're 46. People online amuse me to no end, man. <laughs> well, everybody amuses me online or otherwise, especially Chris Lee. So initially, he, of course, denied. He said, what, what are you talking about? Somebody must have hacked into my account. And uh, when he was asked about it uh, initially, uh, he had this great denial that I wanted to share with you guys. He said, the, uh, his spokesperson told Gawker, the congressman is happily married. The only time he or his wife posted something online was to sell old furniture when they changed the apartment they keep in D.C. Today, he resigned. Oops. <laughs> I love their hypocrisy. I'm endlessly amused by it. All right, so now here's his new statement uh, telling us how sorry and contrite he is. He says, it has been a tremendous honor to serve the people of Western New York. I regret the harm that my actions have caused my family, my staff, and my constituents. I deeply and sincerely apologize to them all. I have made profound mistakes, and I promise to work ho as hard as I can to seek their forgiveness. <laughs> I, I like how he says, yeah, perfect. Found mistakes. Should have never taken my shirt off. You know, I was kind of proud. I was going out to the gym, working out. You know, I was bench pressing. I was up to 225. I was feeling really good. And I wasn't a toad. I was a fit class fun guy. <laughs> Profound mistakes. He continues. The challenge we face, the challenges we face in Western New York and across the country are too serious for my gun show display on Craigslist. No. Too serious for me to allow this distraction to continue. So I am announcing that I have resigned my seat in Congress, effective immediately. Man, that was amazing. This dude went down in about three and a half seconds. Now, the most amazing part of this story is that he's a Republican who actually admitted it and resigned. I mean, I know he, as I told you, denied it in the beginning. But normally they drag it out forever. And they're like, what, what, what? Uh, I'm a Christian, man. And sometimes Christians make mistakes. 
and Jesus forgives. Okay, so, you know, like David Vitter, he was with a prostitute. He came in, got a standing ovation in Congress. Rush Limbaugh, you know, drug addict, comes in and says, oh, forgive me. Oh, you know, what, oh, are there, everybody's perfect? No, I'm just looking for forgiveness from the Jesus Lord Christ himself. And that works like 98 out of 100 times. This guy resigned before he even went to Jesus. What, what the hell was he thinking? So down goes Chris Lee. Down goes Chris Lee. Well, that was his problem. He wanted to go down in the first place. <laughs> okay. All right. Now I feel bad for his wife, et cetera, et cetera. If you want to build a website or a blog, where do you go? You go to Squarespace.com. Squarespace just pushed a brand new social widget for geolocation services. Display your most recent check-ins from Foursquare, Gowalla, and Facebook places on a live Google map. Go to squarespace.com slash TYT and get a two-week trial for free.